Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a money giver button GUI. As you can see, Parker X uh, commented 12 minutes ago. Can you make on how to make a button GUI gives you money? Please help me. So, I'm going to help you out, bro. I'm going to do what I think you're talking about. So, yeah. So, First off, let's go and start a GUI. And what is this? Oh, some chat thing I was making. So ins right click on start a GUI, insert object. And let's look for a screen GUI. So screen GUI, let's name this <coughs> money giver. Okay. And right click on it, insert object, insert a text button. Now, I'm not sure how you guys you Y'all might have like some frame, so like you would do insert object frame, then you would put all your text buttons in there. I'm not sure how you, how you guys are gonna do it, but I'm doing it just a different way with just a button. So in this button, we're gonna right click insert object, and let's look for a local script. Okay, and yeah. So next let's set up the server script so right click on server script service insert object script name this script uh, stats okay because because we're gonna make some stats that's what we're gonna do um all right so now let's get the players so game dot players dot player added so this function is going to fire whenever a player joins a server and we're going to put player in these parentheses then once the player so what it's saying is once the player once a player joins the game or joins the server then we're gonna do stuff in here so what we want to do is we want to make a folder inside of the player so local um, stats equals instance dot new so instance dot new is just going to create a new object so the object we want to create is called a folder okay then we're going to parent this folder into the player so that's what that's saying but this comma player is just parenting to the player okay so then we want to change the stats name so stats dot name equals leader stats so make sure it's spelled just like that no cap n do not make sure it's not like this make sure it's a lowercase l um, next we're going to create money so money equals instance dot new then we're going to create a int value it could either be a a number value or an int value. A no an int value is like one, two, three. You know, like a whole number like that. A number value hold it. A number value can hold a decimal. So like one point five, two point two, something like that with a a decimal. Okay, but we're gonna do int value. Okay, then we're gonna parent this int value into stats, which is that folder. Okay, then we're going to do money.name equals money, I guess, money.value. So money.value, this is how much money the player is going to start off with. Now, say you were doing cash. Now, if you wanted to do like, instead of it being like this, okay, as you can see, it's disabled. I have the... uh. What is this? Yeah. What is all these desk decals? I'm gonna disable that script because it's disabling the the leader stats. As you can see, let's see how it's set up. So in our player, we made a folder called leader stats. Okay. Inside of leader stats, we made a int value called money, and we set the value to zero. So I could just change it to 100. So say you wanted instead of money. Instead of it saying money, just say you wanted it to say cookies, you know, like in Cookie Clicker. Okay, 
So maybe just if you were doing that, just change the variable name. All you really have to do if you wanted to say cookies is just change what's inside of here, this string. And then it's going to show cookies at the top over here. But to make it more, to make it make sense, I'm pretty sure you would want to change the, the variable name also. So if you do that, then you need to change cookies and cookies like that. So that's really it. And then, you know, if you want them to start off with 10,000, I mean, or 1,000 cookies, then just do it like that. Okay, so now that we have it, that, then I'm just going to keep it as cookies for now because I don't feel like changing it back. Okay, then we're going to go in our started UI, our text button, local script. Okay, so <clears throat> now what we're going to do is make a player variable so we want to get the player so in our local script local player equals game dot players dot local local player then we're going to get no actually we don't need the character then we let's get the player stats so local player stats equals player wait for child so we're going to go into player we're going to wait for the child leader stats Okay. Now let's <clears throat> um okay, so script dot parent. So script is referencing to the script that we're inside. So script dot parent, we need to get the parent. So parent dot so now that we do have dot parent, parent is referencing this text button. And then a text button has a event called mouse button one click. So dot mouse button one click colon connect function. There's nothing in the parentheses. So now this is going to fire whenever we click on this text button. Okay. So once we click on a button, we want to add a certain amount of coins or cookies as because we're, you know, we just have a name this cookies. Let's change the text. Let's say plus one cookie okay so then we're gonna do player stats actually let's do players cookies and then we would do player with child leader stats then let's do another wait for child cookies now since we're doing cookies it's gonna be cookies here but if you were doing money, um, then you know you just put money. You change it to whatever you have. Um, then we're gonna do copy this, put that here. Then we're gonna do we're gonna take this value. So we're gonna do dot value equals that value again plus one. Okay. Now we're going to hit play and see what happens. Click it. As you can see, getting cookies. So, you know, you can make like a cookie clicker game. Let's see how fast I can click this. Yeah. Okay, so this is a very basic way of doing it. But if I was making a co cookie clicker game, you know, it would be scripted differently. But this is just basic. So I'm just teaching you basic knowledge of how this works. Um, now, say... Now, let's, uh, you know, you can name it like plus one. And then say you wanted like some one that gives you plus two. So let's go down a bit. Okay. Then, you know, you, you can do like plus two. You can go in that local script and then just change it to two. So oh, did I not change it to plus two? It's giving me plus two, but I guess I didn't change the text. Oh, no, I only changed the name. I just forgot to change the text. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yep. Well, that's basically it. That's the very basic knowledge of how this works. Now, yep, that's basically it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did... Drop a like, I would really appreciate it, and subscribe. Peace out.